In this video, we'll be taking a look at one NFL game happening on September 19, 2024, and providing you with a free team pick and total pick for this game. So two picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on this one NFL game after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. New England Patriots vs. New York Jets The New York Jets are set to host their divisional rival, the New England Patriots, at MetLife Stadium for Thursday night football. The Patriots come into the game with a 1-1 record, having surprised many with an impressive Week 1 road win against the Cincinnati Bengals. However, they followed that victory with a tough overtime loss at home to the Seattle Seahawks. Meanwhile, the Jets also sit at 1-1, having lost their season opener to the San Francisco 49ers. They bounce back with a road win over the Tennessee Titans last week. Thursday's game will mark the Jets' home opener and Aaron Rodgers return to his home turf, making for an exciting atmosphere. The New England Patriots have experienced a roller coaster start to their season. After defeating the Bengals and losing to the Seahawks, their next challenge is facing the 49ers. Interestingly, the Patriots have been strong on the road, winning three of their last four away games. Their rushing attack has been a highlight so far, averaging 177 and a half yards per game, with Ramonder Stevenson leading the charge with 201 yards and two touchdowns. On the defensive side, New England has been solid, allowing just 16 and a half points and 291 yards per game. On the other side, the New York Jets have also had a mixed start, with a loss to the 49ers and a win over the Titans. Looking ahead, they will take on the Denver Broncos after this matchup. The Jets have been inconsistent at home, splitting their last six games. Their rushing game has been less effective than New England's, averaging 84 and a half yards per contest, with Hall leading the way at 116 yards and one touchdown. Defensively, the Jets have given up an average of 24 and a half points and 350 and a half yards per game, highlighting some areas of concern as they face a divisional rival. Jets fans will be electric for the home opener, creating a vibrant and possibly hostile environment for the visiting Patriots. Despite Despite a rough start to the season, New York looked much more composed in their Week 2 win over Tennessee, though injuries have left their defense vulnerable. This may spell trouble for the Jets, as the Patriots' running game has been one of their strongest assets. However, New England's quarterback Jacoby Brissett will need to step up and make key throws for his team to come out on top, something he struggled to do in their loss to Seattle. While the Patriots capitalized on Cincinnati's errors in Week 1, Brissett couldn't deliver when it mattered most against the Seahawks. Aaron Rodgers, on the other hand, has yet to play a full 60-minute standout performance, but he has shown flashes of brilliance, leaving Jets fans hopeful. I expect Rodgers to put enough together on Thursday to guide the Jets to a win, possibly by a touchdown, with the decisive drive likely coming in the closing minutes of the fourth quarter. Betting on a touchdown margin for a Thursday night game can seem risky given the typically sloppy play due to the short week of preparation. However, the energy of the home crowd seeing Rodgers for the first time at MetLife Stadium could be the difference maker. I'm also skeptical about how New England will move the ball consistently against this Jets defense. As the Jets get more reps, their offense should start clicking more consistently. On the other hand, the Patriots' offense doesn't inspire confidence when matched up against above-average teams, especially on the road. Expect the Jets to right the ship and make a statement in this game, reinvigorating their fan base with the hope of a potential playoff push. Thus, the New York Jets to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full-game side pick. The total score for this game screams classic American Football Conference East defensive battle, and it's hard to argue with that assessment. The Jets managed to eke out a win in Tennessee last week, but it wasn't pretty. Despite facing minimal pressure from the Titans' defense, Aaron Rodgers still only managed a 60% completion rate, just enough to keep New York in the game. The bigger issue for the Jets has been their defense, which many had expected to be one of the league's top units heading into the 2024 season. However, their performance through the first two weeks has been 
been underwhelming. The 49ers gashed them for 180 rushing yards in Week 1, and the Titans followed up with another 130 yards in Week 2. New England's talented group of running backs should be able to exploit this weakness, which sets the stage for another low-scoring game. Through two weeks, New England ranks in the top five in the NFL in both rush play percentage and rushing yards per game. Both teams favor a ground and pound style of play while emphasizing strong defensive efforts, which should result in a game of ball control. Cue the sarcasm. The last four meetings between these two teams have gone under the total, with only one of those games reaching more than 35 points. Neither team has scored 20 points in the last three matchups, and Thursday night football games are notorious for their low scoring defensive struggles. Neither the Jets nor the Patriots can reliably throw the ball right now. New England ranks 25th in the league in yards per play, while New York sits at 20th. With both offenses struggling to generate consistent production, the defenses, particularly the pass rushes, will have a chance to shine. For the Patriots to have any chance in this game, they will need to rely heavily on their running attack, which will also serve the purpose of keeping the clock moving. New England will aim to limit Aaron Rodgers' opportunities by controlling the game tempo with long, time-consuming drives. Although the Patriots are expected to lose, their strategy will likely involve chewing up the clock and keeping the game close. Expect both teams to stack the box on defense, leading to a lot of punts and a low-scoring affair. With red zone struggles likely continuing for both sides, we can anticipate drives stalling and ending in field goals rather than touchdowns. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.